What if I told you there was a cheap and completely natural fiber supplement that can cure constipation, lower your LDL cholesterol level by 10%, help control your blood sugar levels, and help you lose weight by increasing satiety? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today I'm going to talk to you about the how the ground up seed of a common plant can do all of this and have a huge impact on your health. Psyllium seed husk is a tasteless, coarse powder which comes from the seed coat of the Plantago ovata plant. This plant is grown throughout the world, primarily in dry climates such as northern India and also in the Mediterranean. It's also native to Southern California and Nevada. The entire seed of the plant is edible, but the outer layer or husk is typically what is sold as a fiber supplement. The psyllium seed husk contains the epidermis or outer covering of the seed and the mucilage zone just above it. So what is mucilage? So mucilage is a, a clear gel made by many plants to prevent the inner part of the seed from drying out. Mucilage is known for its high water holding capacity, which is about 80 times its weight. In fact, if you pour psyllium seed husk powder into a liquid and let it sit for about 15 minutes, the liquid will turn into a gel. That is exactly what psyllium does inside your body. Psyllium has been used as a traditional medicine in Chinese and Ayurvedic systems of medicine for thousands of years. Typically, psyllium was given in powder, flakes, or granular form, and that was then just dissolved into liquid or sprinkled over food. Traditionally, it was used to treat constipation, diarrhea, hemorrhoids, and high blood pressure. So let's quickly review what fiber is and how this psyllium seed husk fits in. Found in plants, fiber is typically a very long chain of sugars that is not digested or absorbed in the human gut. Instead, some fiber is broken down by microbes in the large intestine. When bacteria break down or ferment fiber, short chain fatty acids and gases are produced. These fermentation byproducts can sometimes make you feel bloated and gassy. Other fibers are not fermented at all and are excreted unchanged in the stool. Soluble fiber dissolves in water and insoluble fiber does not. Soluble fiber has the most benefit for human health and can be further divided into gel forming or viscous fibers and non-viscous fibers. Psyllium seed husk is a gel forming soluble fiber and is probably easiest to take as a supplement. For example, one tablespoon of ground up psyllium seed contains about five grams of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber can be difficult to find in food in, in these quantities. By adding a psyllium fiber supplement to your diet, you can easily add 20 grams of soluble fiber to your daily intake. So for reference, most Americans only consume about 15 grams of fiber a day, but the recommended amount is between 25 for women and 38 grams for men. That's daily. So essentially, you eat ground up psyllium seed husk, which then absorbs a large amount of water as it passes through your gut. 
Cilium transforms your stool into a large gelatinous mass that is easier to eliminate from the body. Psyllium can also be helpful in treating mild diarrhea as it has a stool normalizing effect. Compared to other soluble fibers, it's poorly fermented in the large intestine, and so it remains intact throughout most of the body. Psyllium seed husk is recommended over all other fiber supplements to treat chronic constipation and constipation predominant irritable bowel syndrome. In my opinion, is probably the easiest way to consume the recommended amount of soluble fiber every day. This would be adding a psyllium seed husk powder, five to 10 grams or one to two tablespoons a day. Remember that one tablespoon of ground up psyllium seed husk contains five grams of soluble fiber and only 20 calories. I would recommend adding five grams daily of psyllium seed husk powder to a liquid sauce or yogurt. I like to add it to sugar-free applesauce. You can gradually increase your total daily consumption until you're taking at least 10 to 15 grams daily. At that level, you do see the cholesterol lowering effects. It's important to start low and go slow with fiber to avoid side effects such as gas and bloating. It's nice to know that there are aspects of healthy eating that are actually cheap and easy. Thank you for listening. I hope that this was helpful for you.